Hey guys, it's the Connick, and this video is going to be a longer one as it's going to be the much anticipated crafting video for the medium and the high budget Frostbearer setups. The goal of the video is not only to show the crafting steps for the Frostbearer setups, but it is also to try to walk you guys through how to approach crafting items in general and hopefully make crafting in, um, look less intimidating. And as someone who got into PoE in Sanctum League, I am very aware of just how daunting it all can look at first. I will also add timestamps to every different item so you can always come back and quickly rewatch if you need to as you go through the craft yourself. To start off the crafts, we'll be going through the medium budget crafts first, then the high budgets after. The trick to crafting on a budget is finding the right base. With the right base, you can spend about 2 divines for the power you might have had to buy for over 10 divines. I'll go over how to use trade to find the bases in question, and I'll also leave the link for the final searches in the description. So very quickly, we're just going to try to emulate a base that we might want, reset strength in. We pick a decent base. Um, ideally, I at least I level 86, but it doesn't really matter if it's less or more. So for the for the prefixes, like I said, we want to make sure it has like decent life rules. So we're just gonna put T4 life. We're gonna put the number of specters mod that we really want. And if it has armor, good. If it doesn't, that's also fine. Not the end of the world. Um. But yeah, we're just we're, we're actually gonna put something like T6 armor because it's this is realistic. And at this point, I'm going to show you what you would do if your suffixes were full, and then we're going to um, actually craft it. So for, for suffixes being full, this is not going to be an influence, like Elder influence. It's not going to have any special influence. It's going to be Eldritch, so we can take advantage of Eldritch currencies. And all you have to do is take a look at Annul, the Eldritch Annulment Orb, and you'd see, oh, what which of them has to be dominant to remove a suffix? Reading this, you can see Eta World has to be dominant. And all you have to do to make something dominant is just apply um, a, a higher tier of uh, Icar than the, than the other element. So say in this case, now this is dominant because I just applied this one. But let's say they had the same. So it's Eta and um, Exarch. So none of them, neither is dominant here. All you have to do is apply the next tier. And again, if let's say the biggest one, Exceptional Ember was here, all you have to do is overwrite it with a smaller one and then... You can just use a greater to make sure eta is dominant so you can see this is a lesser a tier six this is a tier five so whatever you do here it is going to be the eta effect that takes place and in this case we're going to be using annulment orbs so we just take an eldritch annulment orb and it removes a, a suffix guaranteed and from this point on you just want to lock your you want to lock your prefixes so you go into prefixes cannot be changed and you just reforge defenses at this point reforge physical rather not defense is physical because we want to get um physical damage reduction now if you do not get a tier you are okay with like let's say you roll tier tier six so like three percent pdr all you have to do is lock your prefixes again and reforge physical um do note that if you ever fill up your suffixes it's the same thing just go to eldritch current just use eldritch currency to um eldritch annulment because at this point, Eta is Eta of Worlds is dominant. And from this point on, all you want to do is slam on a a suffix and craft something you need. So let's say you need dexterity, you could craft that, you could craft um fires, whatever you need. And that's all it takes for your medium budget plus one spectre chest piece without fracture. Quick reminder to like and subscribe if you're enjoying the video. The support goes a long way in helping the channel grow and we are so close to 500 subs. So next up, we're going to be looking for the convoking one for the medium budgets. Now, I know I recommended plus two if you can, but the reality is you can actually settle for a plus one that would improve your DPS by quite a bit and all you have to spend is um, two divines. So if you wanted to craft a plus two one, you can skip to the high budget version and we also we go over how to craft the plus two one. But I want to show you how to craft a much cheaper one for um, 
like I said, about two divines, maybe a bit more of the base is a bit pricier, but you're looking at a, a total crafting cost of like literally three divines. So next up we have the wand. Now for the wand craft, if you're here to find out how to make a plus two wand, you can skip on ahead to the high budget wand crafting section. We, I go over how to get the plus two and craft from there on that in that section. But for this one in particular, I want to showcase how we can get more power for, from the one for on a budget, on an already much tighter budget. Um, now, this is going to cost maybe three divines, maybe four. But with that amount of money, you're going to be able to get a decent amount of power. So what exactly is it that we're looking for? Well, firstly, we would prefer a convoking wand. But just in case there are some bases that are not restricted to convoking one, we're gonna we're gonna put one here. We are going to be making sure it has at least an empty prefix and an empty suffix. You can go for two empty suffixes, but I have found that there aren't too many currently on trade. I think people are just not trading them. But for the purpose of this, so you'd have more options at your disposal we are going to be going for one empty suffix then we're also going to be looking for at least a level a plus one level so either it's going to come from all minion skill gems or it's going to come from all spell skill gems anyone it doesn't matter which so long as we get a level that would help us get to hit level 25 respecter then from this point on you would want ideally to have minion attack cast speed on the weapon and keep in mind you have to choose attack cast speed because that's the one that can roll on the on the ones or we can also make do a minion crits and for this we're going to put like a 15 here we're going to put like a 70 percent here so with these these options we're going to search and see if this is exactly what we want yeah this is fine it has the plus one it has the crits it has two mods we don't care about now from this point on you would want to get something like this you want to prioritize attack has speed over crit by the way but you'd want to get something like this and you'd want to annul off a suffix that is not this and of course you don't hit this so in the ideal universe you're going to annul the cast speed and once you have annulled the cast speed, we can go on with the craft. But I have something here prepared as an example where we have a similar one. It has two dead stats and it has plus one and this. So you're going to annul. And if you hit something you do not want, like the level of all minion skill gems, you just go on, you just go on ahead and you buy another base and you try again. So let's say, for example, in this case, we actually hit the suffix we wanted to. Now it has two empty suffixes and one empty prefix. This is the goal. This is all we need. Now, from this point on, all we have to do is craft um, can have up to three crafted modifiers. Then you craft um, minion damage. Crafted minion damage, if I can find it. Where is minion damage? We'll find it eventually. Yeah, there we go. We craft T1 minion damage. We hope it's a, a good roll. But either way, it's fine. Because this, this costs like two divines to craft. And then you just finish it off with your trigger. And with a weapon like this, you have a lot of a lot of power in the world, like DPS and whatnot, for a very tight budget. And then you just apply the runesmith enchant that gives you a further like 30% um, increased damage. So reality. With this one weapon, you can get upwards of 120% increased minion damage and the level. And of course, some attack cast speed, which is a big multiplier for frost bearers. I also forgot to mention in the previous section, you want to make sure that it does not come with minions that increase damage. So you can actually craft minions that increase damage. But like I said, I'm going to leave this search in the description. That about covers everything you would want to craft yourself on the medium budget. Every other gear piece that you might want is actually going to be much cheaper for you to just straight up buy 
than it would be for you to craft it yourself so we're going to be moving on to the high budget section now now in the way of the high budget crafts we are going to be covering the plus one spectre chest piece the aggressive wand the aspects gloves and the plus two spectre boots one thing you notice in this section is basically all crafts have common rules that they all abide by which is they all want to fill up either their suffixes first or their prefixes depending on the craft then they want to try to fix up the other i.e prefix or suffix as cost efficiently as possible they may do this in different ways like essences or fossils but that is all what it boils down to at the end of the day the first craft we'll be covering is the plus one spectre chess piece as it is one of the two crafts that could end up costing the most depending on your rng you can skip the recombination and factoring steps if you are on a lower budget but for this chest you ideally want it on a twilight regalia base as it provides the highest amount of base energy shield which in turn means you have a much bigger life pool or health, health pool in this case on a ci character but you can also save some steps by opting for a worse base though i would not recommend that the first step for this chess piece is recombinating a plus one spectre mod onto a level 86 twilight regalia we go for an 86 so you have the chance to roll t1 energy shield and resistances to do this you have to buy a t1 chess piece that has plus one spectre chest and an extra one or two prefixes that you can roll on a twilight regalia like for example increased armor evasion or energy shield can all be bench crafted or max life or max mana can can be rolled individually be careful with armor and evasion on the plus one spectre chest however as if it is a hybrid affix with stun and block recovery you cannot roll that on a twilight regalia and you also can't bench craft it now to search for the base you just want to find a plus one spectre chest piece spectre maximum number of spectres you want it to be non-unique otherwise you have stuff like bones of valor show up and you want to make sure it doesn't have stats like flat armor local or flat evasion as you can't bench craft these mods and if you really want to be careful you can also make it sure so it doesn't show up with stun and block recovery that way you just remove all the hybrid affixes from the from the pool but then you can see these are the bases that have um what i'm talking about now when it comes to this i'm just, I'm just going to walk you through what i'm thinking about when i see these bases this is a good base for recombinating because it has plus one spectre max life can roll on a twilight regalia and you can benchcraft evasion energy shield on it so you can then have a total mod pool of or prefix pool of five and recombinate pretty successfully so you'd want these two mods in your twilight regalia but the next one this is bad and the, the reason this is bad is this, this has maximum spectres and you might think you can benchcraft this one but you can see how there's a plus here this means there are two sources of stun and block recovery and this p1 is a hybrid with this one that's why here also has hummingbirds and this is hummingbird so you and you cannot get this mod on twilight regalia so you you stay clear of a base like this this one looks fine maximum life is easy to roll if you you're talking about odds of hitting it you actually have higher odds of getting um of keeping your plus one maximum spectre on a piece that um only has two on it you have a higher chance when the total amount of mods that are going into the pool is three than five but if you cannot have three five is not much worse it's like three percent difference and they both are like 78 percent to 80 percent chance so long the, the real rng in this whole recombination process is the 50 50 for choosing the right piece but if you can choose if it chooses twilight regalia and it chooses max spectres you're done now as an example i'm going to go i'm going to make the base that i would want to recombine with this chest piece right here now this one like this was the first one i said was good because it has evasion es and max life all mods that can go on twilight regalia so how do we start this off we can honestly just pick up an eye level 86 it needs to not have an influence to confirm it doesn't have an influence 
I level 86 base and all you want to do is transmute and looking at this this cannot naturally roll so you're going to roll for maximum life with alteration orbs so you're just going to spam this until you get max life of any tier it doesn't matter what just any tier max life it has to be standalone max life cool now the goal is we want um before we even do this we need to augment it if i can find it so we fill up suffixes when you are running this through the recombinator you want the item to have at least two or two prefixes or two suffixes so if you only have to match say one modifier to make it good then you want it to have two suffixes this is so that the resulting item cannot be um magic and if because if it is magic it's going to reduce the chance of you hitting your plus one number of specters so you just want to make sure that the re resulting item will always be rare to just maximize your chances right there so we have this we just regal it now we got a prefix we do not like the fact that we got a prefix so we're just going to scour it and do it again until we get maximum life again let's hope rng doesn't take too long there we go we augment it to get the suffix and then we'll regal and hope we get a suffix we did good now from this point on the second modifier we're looking for is increased energy shield and and whatnot so we're just going to the crafted section we bench craft energy shield and evasion increase energy shield evasion so we go in here or oh, it's prefixes rather and we just go into increase evasion energy shield and we pick a random percent so now it has the maximum life to match this maximum life and it has evasion to an es to match it so the number of mod or prefixes going into the recombinator is five so you optimize your chances of retaining your plus one specter now it's just a 50 50 chance of actually picking the twilight regarded that is the real um pain point in this process now let's say you've hit your plus one to the maximum number of specter chess piece now the next step is one of the more expensive ones which is to fracture it now you want to make sure there's four or five mods on the item when you are recombinating if there are any more than these four like let's say there's an extra prefix and an extra suffix you're just going to have to take the chance to annul it to save your own money because the more mods there are the le less likely it is for you to hit that actual fracture you want which is maximum number so if it's six you definitely want to annul and now you you can annul or if you what if you're really like averse to that you can just try to fracture it here i would rather much rather have a one in four than a one in five when it comes to the fracturing just because of the price of the fracturing right now so this is a step i'll still i'm still gonna take because it's still a four and five chance you don't hit the number of specters and at this point you want to yolo the fracturing up and you just hope you hit the number of specters we failed um at this point all you can do is get a new twilight regalia base and try to recombine with max life to retain the maximum number of specters but drop the prefix or the um fracture rather and once you recombine you can end up with it again another try and then you just try to fracture and there you have it a plus one number of specters fractured on a twilight regalia base it's can be more expensive or less expensive you know depending on your rng with the fracturing or there's really, really much you can do about that step but it is what it is if you get this you have completed the most expensive part of this craft and you can everything else is much cheaper okay you have your fractured plus one maximum number of specter chest now what next this is the point where if you decided to skip the fracture or the recombinating step this is where you start by the way but what you want to do is you want to use your essences and you want to go for essence of loathing so you can get maximum um your mana reservation efficiency rather onto a suffix and what you're looking for is ideally a good suffix for its resistance you don't need attributes in this build for the high budget version you don't need um strength decks none of that only thing you need is elemental resistance you don't even need chaos for us so you're just going to spam this until you get decent res your or decent suffixes you're fine with so like this we can make decision do we think this is good enough i think this is fine for now if you really want to min max your piece 
you can continue rolling or even just annul and try to reforge and go that way but we're going to go with this for now we've gotten this it's unfortunately we got nine percent we can keep rolling for the ten percent or we can take it as is i don't i haven't checked but i think a nine percent is also fine or at least doable anyways um once you have this you we start working on our prefixes because suffixes are done let's close delve tab just to be safe um suffixes cannot be changed from this point on and we have two options on how to proceed if you do not if your prefixes are not empty or during the this step let's even say during the suffix step it just filled up your your prefixes with garbage we're going to do the exact same thing we did earlier which is we can just eldritch currency again read which one do you need to do to remove a prefix serine exarch has to be dominant so then you just slap on it serine exarch and you eldritch and to free up a prefix and if at any point your prefixes are full and you still need to craft you can always just eldritch and no or use eldritch currency for that so to fix your prefixes there's two methods you could use a suffixes cannot be changed into reforged defenses this reforge is weighted towards getting defense anything with defense stack so max energy shield is there um we also have increased energy shield being there we have energy shield and mana energy and life obviously we're looking for it either increase es or flat es so we can do this and you know just rng we got increased es if you didn't if you're not satisfied with what you got just lock your suffixes again and reforge defenses and from this point on you just craft the flats that you're missing and we're done that's pretty much all there is to the craft um if i can find it yeah flat max yes boom you you continue rolling this until 69 but if you have a really good base and as a bonus step if you, at this point you hold out and you realize your es your base es is low you can always just use a secret up to get that number higher so it gives you more es for your time and of course remember to quality up your chest piece and then from this point on all you want to do is fix your eldritch and eldritch implicit to um if i am back correctly aura effects and um i don't remember the last one but aura effect and something else next up we have the convoking wand now with the convoking wand or minions are aggressive wand i should say what we're looking for is a minion uh, minions are aggressive modifier but we do not want an item that has more than or less than four africa actually less is fine but it needs to have number of modifiers um number of modifiers it needs to have a maximum of four if it has a minimum we can always just exalt to the four number but if it has a maximum if it has a maximum or if it has more we're gonna have to um power it back now for this one we are not looking for something that's already fractured so we need to make sure well mirrored is no corrupted is no fractured is where's fractured no none of these and then we can search and as you can see this this um bases the bases right now are very pricey but i would um I want, to say, I want to take this time to emphasize that minions are aggressive as a whole is not the most mandatory thing you need right now. You can ignore it. You can get it later. It is not the most imp um, important thing. Rather, if you want to save this insane crafting, because like 10 divines is a lot for a base to then try to fracture. I would not spend this amount of money on minions are aggressive world. When I got it, it was much cheaper. This is wild. But anyways, um, if you do opt to not go for minions that are aggressive, what you would then do is you'd find a base that has good fractured minion damage or good, yeah, good fractured minion damage is probably your best bet. I would not go for fractured minion attack speed because getting the minion, uh, minion attack speed part is kind of deterministic, even though you can kind of break your build, your craft there, I would still prefer personally prioritize getting a decent fracture on minion damage i said let's just create the template for what i said um we want minions are aggressive if you're going the aggressive route 
His minions are aggressive, not here. I guess it isn't. Okay, for the purpose of this example, I will put minions have increased AoE to represent minions are aggressive. So we have we found the minions are aggressive wand. Um, it has random stats, but we, like I said, we're looking for at least four modifiers or on, not more than four modifiers. And all you want to do is throw a factory knob on it and hope you hit the goal, which is minions are aggressive. In this case, um, area of effect is representing it. And as you can see, it's a, it can be expensive, so you might need a number of those bases. And that's why I honestly don't know if it's worth it to get the minions are aggressive now, unless you just have a lot of currency to blow. Alternatively, if you miss the craft, you can also try to recombine it onto a different convoking one using the things I mentioned in the previous section to try to make sure to try to preserve your 10 divine base as much as you can and not have to buy another. Just save costs, you know. But anyways, let's say you have your minions are aggressive fractured or instead what I what I would recommend is you got a decent fracture for minion damage. So you mean you have like let's say tier three that's fractured you got this for a decent chunk of money you have this what next you want to use fossil crafting and you want to use shuddering um metallic where are you jagged and where is the last one corroded there we go you want to use four sucker resonators with these four um fossils to then get your plus two prefixes um keep in mind that if you were if you went for aggressive aggressive is a suffix so you would want to get plus two and minion damage on this step but look at that first try jesus christ what is this wand <laughs> okay um i mean jokes aside this one is kind of break because suffixes are full and we're gonna have to yolo and all. but anyways you want to spam this until you get plus one plus one and minion damage that you're satisfied with once you have all of these you also want to ideally have an open suffix now we didn't get that so we're gonna have to just hope we don't hit a prefix if we hit any suffix it's fine yeah the item is bricked so then we go back to rolling this for plus one and you, you do this until you hit this is more what it should look like until you hit plus two again and then once you hit plus two you can then go to try to fix your suffixes again so let's see if rng is gonna let me hit plus two after i go uber lucky with that first one there you go suffixes are full damn it you just have to good with the suffix this time that's really good i do not like this but it is what it is yeah i can't i can't re I can resize this okay anyways um all you want to do at this point is prefixes cannot be changed which your which are now open suffix slots and you have two options thank god it pushed it back you have two options from this point on you can if you have a decent minion damage roll here and you know how to risk it i would go for add um harvest add or remove but if you're okay with potentially breaking the base since um it's much much cheaper to use reforge like when i say much cheaper the add or remove costs like multiple divines like two three divines give or take depending on the market but right now um this would only cost let's say five five chaos to use so do whichever you feel comfortable with i'm going to go with reforge speed if i fill up the suffixes i would try to annul and if not we go back to fossil crafting so we're gonna do it and we missed but there's still free suffix so we just prefixes cannot be changed reforge speed again missed prefix cannot be changed reforge speed it failed with a null boom bricked you start over um a null bricked start over good prefixes so like this is these are just to show these steps on how many different ways it can be bricked but like i said keep in mind each time we missed here if you were using add or remove you would need to use add or remove again the goal here is to get minion cast speed attack cast speed it's typically not this rare but game rng is rng okay cool we finally hit the attack cast speed at this point 
and we can if we're not happy with it we can continue trying for a better one or we can go with this because this is a really good base so now we have your attack car speed and we just want to all we do here is we just craft trigger and we're essentially done with the wand if you want to try to um add an extra mod that's up to you you can use you can try to use add a reforge for crits to try to get minion crits completely unnecessary this is fine my one looks something like this you don't need anything else yeah there you have it you have your minions are aggressive one if you went minions are aggressive then suffixes will be full but if you went increased damage then you have this one and this is all you need really so now we're done with the wand craft and we're done with the chest piece craft so the remaining two crafts are much cheaper in comparison you don't need anything like a fracture they're just very straightforward now keep in mind rng is rng so it could still end up being expensive for you but it could also be very very cheap for you depending on um like i said your rng so first things first we're going to be going over the, the gloves the aspect gloves so what do we want to do here we want to pick up warlock gloves because they have the best es base we're going to go for i level 86 ideally if you can pick up high quality then do so it's going to be more es and there's no chance of breaking your your um base so even if you spend a few divines for extra quality it's typically worth it because you just have a higher health um es pool and then from this point on all you want to do is um spam essences of woe if i remember correctly until you hit increase maximum es so the goal is just to have increased maximum es and once you have that you would ideally want a free sub free prefix alongside that if you fill up your prefixes like here you kind of just have to annul or eldritch annul as the case may be i just throw the annul because it's much cheaper we hit the essence so we keep going um you just go back to essences and you keep spamming it um but we're going to save time we're going to go back and this is the base we hit the annul what next yeah it's very straightforward and keep in mind you want to roll until you get a good increased es roll something you're comfortable with don't take it tier seven or six or something like that but tier four is depending on your budget could be fine tier three could do for tier two the higher the tier the higher the eye level you would need i think tier tier one requires a, an eye level 86 which is why i went for eye level 86. um then from this point on you want to clear your suffixes and to do that you either just use two eldritch annuls or you prefixes cannot be changed scour so in this case we're going to go with prefixes cannot be changed scour because it's faster but to, i'm just putting this out there it's, it's a thing you can do it it's probably cheaper um prefixes cannot be changed scour now you have your empty prefixes then you use can have up to three mod crafted modifiers and honestly scratch that don't use prefix gonna be changed just eldritch currency it's um so to remove suffixes eta has to be exceptional so just do that and you save your x amount of divines keep in mind and those are on the more expensive side like 35c last i bought them or something but they are much cheaper than spending two divines to clear your, your suffixes but anyways you have your clear suffixes can have up to three you choose that you go in here you craft on minion damage or any honestly anything and then you go to your suffixes the reason you craft this is just so it doesn't put something else in there then you go to prefixes cannot be changed and that's your last mod and then you just reforge for an a resistance you want so in this case we're going to be reforging for code but keep in mind we don't need chaos res so that would be very unideal for us i'm not satisfied with this you can do the same thing crown have up to three re and then just reforge until you get resistances you're fine with once you have that all you have to do is exalt the last modifier and beastcraft with the black morrigan and cray current first of the deep 
that would give you the aspect of the crab that would fill up your last suffix keep in mind with black morgan this is level 30 but craft of exile doesn't have that so you fill up your suffixes and then you just go to your prefixes and benchcraft minion damage until you hit 20 percent there you go there you, and that's that's all it takes to craft your gloves everything here shouldn't cost you more it shouldn't be up even up to 10 divines if you have decent rng you can get very unlucky don't get me wrong but overall it should be very straightforward and then last but not the least to craft our plus two level of race specta boots we're going to be picking up a set a pair of warlock boots again i level 86 so we can get t1 es just in case we hit it you can of course opt for something that's cheaper or that for that's a bit lower level like 83 and reduce the mod pool there but i would go for 86. you want to pick one up that's elder influence so you don't have to um, influence it yourself this is going to be much cheaper for you and if you can get higher quality again do so there aren't really many ways to break the base to where you can't use the base so you just go for it and then all you want to do is you want to use essences of torments and spam these deafenings ideally because we use chance to avoid being shocked to reach ailment immunity so you had better deafening essence of torment until you get plus one level of race specter as a suffix so you just spam this it shouldn't take too long or cost too much money to get it even just the one time and then when you get it the one time of course you have to make sure you don't roll over it um i might end up skipping parts of the of this rolling to save you guys time if it doesn't take a while you know what F it. we have let's say we got it it's just this one we hit elder where is it we hit the plus one all right now you can see it has two elder mods if you do not have two elder mods and i will show you just in case you don't have two elder mods because you need two elder mods to elevate this to plus two what you're going to want to do here is you want to fill up your suffixes so you can go there's two ways to do this you can go suffixes cannot be changed into reforge of the element resistance you would like so let's say you want cold you can go reforge cold and that should give you cold resistance now you have your suffixes done you still want to elevate this but what you can now do is suffixes cannot be changed and reforge chaos by reforging chaos here you are guaranteed to hit um unaffected by desecrated ground because this is the only chaos prefix that's available to be rolled and because your suffixes are full you cannot roll chaos res but anyways alternatively you can also skip this portion and just reforge lock your suffixes and reforge influence this is more expensive in the way of you will use more juice about like it's about two divines worth of juice something like that um but the but if it breaks if you spend less in the way of like just blocking your suffix multiple times but anyways um in this case you have your one elder and your specters so all you want to do is orb of dominance and hope you hit the specters in this case we did not we so we just go back to essence rolling until the until a similar outcome now let's say you got it again rng is rng it's a 50 50 chance if you miss it you miss it it is what it is there this is the ideal scenario you actually hit the plus two specters what you do next is if your suffix if your prefixes aren't clear you suffix cannot be changed then you scour it to clear it then you want to suffixes cannot be changed and use a veil orb. this veil orb is here to gar almost guarantee movement speed for your boots and not even just any movement speed good movement speed rule so what you do is you suffixes cannot be changed veil orb. it would remove your the suffix you crafted and now you want to block mana because it has the highest weight pool in among the things you can block then you just unveil and i think there is a one in 12 chance that you do not get movement speed among these options 
and i can just go ahead and show you real quick you're almost guaranteed to get movement speed of some form you, you're not guaranteed like onslaught on kill or chance to avoid kill but you're, you're almost guaranteed movement speed of sorts and then once you have this one all you have to do is um exalt slam you get max life it is what it is and then you just want to craft increased es or flat es if you actually got lucky and you hit your or if you got lucky and you hit your exalt on an es modifier and there you have it that is how you craft the plus two spectre boots and that concludes all the crafts that we need for the high budget frostbearer setup and all the crafts we will be covering today please let me know how i did it with detailing the craft steps as i would like to be as digestible as possible for future crafting videos and your feedback is crucial to making them better than the last if you made it this far hopefully you were able to learn one or two things about crafting as it is a genuinely satisfying feeling watching the garbage item slowly but surely become closer and closer to what you want and i think that everybody deserves to feel that at some point in their poe playthrough and with all that said thank you for watching